Good morning and welcome to the news in a few. I'm your host, Mongi Dongi Shlongi, and boy do I have some gossip to tell you today. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, something in between. Don't have a schlong, don't have a kuk kong Don't worry, we accept all of the brethren around these parts. Now, the first bit of goss I'm getting into is kind of weird. In fact, it is so weird that I don't believe it. Inver- Inverclyde dub. Inverclyde. Inverclyde. Twinverclyde. A 17 sets of twins prepare to start school. Now, if you're Wondering why I've got my friend, the Scottish man, Sam, to take over the microphone. Well, I'll tell you now, it has been 17, 7, that's 1, 7, 17 sets of twins in one primary school in a place called Scotland in Iverclade. Now, I'm probably saying that wrong because I'm not actually from Scotland myself, but they are bracing for the second, second largest. So it's not even the top. They've not even got the record. Dude, imagine having, you'd be so paid off if you were the headmaster, wouldn't you? If you had that many twins, but you didn't even hold the award. Like these Mr. Olympias, you know, you do all these steroids, you take all this food, you basically sell your soul and become this gym freak just to get third. You know, you'd be fucking heartbroken. And really, can me and you tell a difference between the first and tenth? Nah, bro. 2023 class, St. Patrick's Primary School in Green Knot for dress rehearsals, and they have 15 of the 17 sets of twins are going to be there. So there's two more that's going to appear. Incredible. Look at them all. Smile. Jesus. That's terrifying. So many. Why are they in all different outfits as well? Now, what I'm about to tell you is deeply disturbing. Having scoured the interweb, there is some one you guys need to be careful now in the uk we don't have guns but after this case i think we're probably gonna have a real change in the law there is a, a man and we're assuming gender's there so let's not be let's not be crude he's gone round and is stealing dummies from babies mouths you know for six months nearly from february to august a child has had the unfortunate day of meeting the dummy nabber this guy's highly, highly dangerous, considered to be armed and dangerous, and he's not someone to leave around your kids. This is probably just some sad, sad loser with no friends. Yeah, look at that, yellow teeth. Do you need to say any more? Some sad white kid in his 20s with no friends and he's working in bloody Aldi on night shifts or something like that. And if you don't know what Aldi is, it's like a supermarket. But not that there's anything wrong working in supermarkets. I worked in the supermarket for a long, long time and I actually really enjoyed it. So don't hate don't hate the bait, you know what I mean? Andrew Tate. And he's going around with a black night bag, white logo. You see it there? Keep your eyes peeled, folks, because this guy is dangerous. We need to get the task force out. We need to get the FAI out. We need to get the CIA. Fuck it, bring in the juggernauts because this man needs taken down. No way is this man off to prison. I want to see bullets, I want to see buckets, send in a couple nukes just to make sure he's gone. Now, we reported it uh, a while back on the greatest news channel in the world. That is, your news with H-Bomb Dong, Big Schlong. And, uh, well, we reported that uh, Mark Zuckerberg, also known as Kuckerberg, and Elon Musk, also known as Elon Tusk, is actually fighting each other. Now, they've been talking a lot of dog muck online. They've been throwing bits back and forth. Not actually on the same service, so one of them's been tweeting off Twitter, and one of them's been tweeting off threads, and obviously threads fell harder than a disabled kid in a triathlon and has not taken off, unsurprisingly. And they said they were going to fight on the 26th of August, but no. Musk or Tusk has not responded. Zuckerberg claims he's ready today, which I'm not sure he is. Don't give my opinions because this is a non-opinionated show. However, they are... I think they're just in this for a gag. Elon Musk, if they do a boxing or kickboxing fight, is going to kick the fuck out of him. I know he does jiu-jitsu and Brazilian jiu-jitsu and don't get me wrong, if he was to take him on the floor he'd break him in two. Elon Musk is a heavy bloke. He's a big man. If you think he's not, I'm sorry guys, but he is. Mark Zuckerberg is a pretzel. He's been a pretzel since he was 12 and he's not gained any pounds. Yes, it's brilliant. He can do martial arts and he could break someone's forearm in three. I get that. You can't do that in a boxing fight, mate. You're going to be padded up, gloves on, you know, 20 ounces type so you don't hurt each other. It's going to be nothing of spectacular. However, if this goes on, I will personally fly out to Italy and give you front row coverage. I will report all the feedback, all the goss, all the juice, because I want to see this shit. I think this will be sensational. This is more of a video, but you know, uh, these Americans, these crazy Texas people, they love to, for some reason, stand in rings with bulls, and don't get me wrong, I love watching the fails, but I'm not retarded, I'm not stupid enough to actually get in one myself, because because I consider life slightly more valuable. I'd much rather get hit by a bus, maybe even a train. I like trains. Dying by a bull shoving its horn in my pee-pee or spearing me. Not really on the top of my list. Now, as you can see from this video, there seems to be a bull on the road. I'm not sure how it got out, but I think he is a bit lost. Now, how did they get this here? Unfortunately, everyone forgot their red cape, so it was just left roaming the wild until its demise. It has now reached age of 52, and it's grown a family, so good luck to the bull. And thank you, Americans, for not shooting it. That's very kind of you, and to, you know, put your glocks away is something you're not really known for, so well done. I'm sure you've seen this dog shit. I'm sure you guys have uh, witnessed this man in a costume 
Because, my God, that ass is not been on the gym rack. Is this real? Is this not? I don't know. It looks weird to me, though. Britain's most tattooed woman has been immortalised in epic tribute. That means they've skinned her alive and they put it on a mannequin. I don't want to spoil it, but don't check it out. A man tried to stuff 14 snakes in his pocket and smuggle them through customs. Personally, uh, I, d I, I don't know what to tell you about this. Uh, I, 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 just, I just don't uh, understand. To be honest, why? Now, if you if you enjoy the Brazilian feds, they went 3,500 miles, sat there on a boat. Now that's just incredible balance. These guys need to put straight into the Team Olympics. I say just legalize them. If they can do that, they can do anything. Because fuck me, who wants to stay there? And us Brits, we we love a good new us article, and I don't think it gets any meatier, any juicier than this bad boy here in North Wales. My God, drivers are left in chaos as they don't know whether it's 20 or 30 miles per hour 30 or 20 30 or 20 personally i think it's 50 i think they clearly meant you to add 30 add 20 and that's obviously 50 so um they just ran out of 50 signs 50 plates what do you want to do you can't you know we can't be perfect in this country or the uk rather wales is the uk but still parts on they're still clinging on like that little cousin you can't get rid of at a family dinner is just following you around it's just there grasping onto us but whatever can stay if it likes i have been your host big dong slong mong this is my twitter has is min head is min why did I pick that name? I don't have a fucking clue. I picked it like 10 years ago and I've not changed it since. If you don't like it, good. If you do like it, then that's annoying. Don't steal it. Thank you so much. I'll be back again with your insane news roundup. The best news around. Remember, no lies, no deceit. It's only the truth. I do all this research myself. I fly out to these scenes. I do my own research. Film shit, take pictures. Ding, 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 ding. I give you everything. I think that deserves a like, doesn't it? Thank you. Stay tuned for more news at 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6, depending where you live. Good night. I don't know why I'm still talking.